mixing in color from a photo let's say I have a photo that's two to three four colors that I like and I, and I want to make a graphic that has two or three I mean I want to put this on a t-shirt of some nature so what I'm gonna have to do is go back to the beginning because it's where color happened to uh, in order to understand this workflow so this right here what I want to do is eliminate the green Okay. So before we had something that looked like this. This is good for black and white. But now, here's another way to do it if you're if you're using color. So here's the select color. Double click on it. And I'll click this green. And I can mess around with this threshold. And I can also hold shift to get more values of green. back to threshold a little bit. So I'll select none if I get too out of hand here. And what I'm making sure here is it's not getting into the butterfly or getting into the plant. Sometimes I'll get too far into it and it's, it's really hard to fix that stuff. Okay, not too bad. So, let's uh, toggle quick mask. So in quick mask mode, I can see this, and I can go into this and paint in where I messed up, like right here. I'm, I want to take this and add to that selection. We learned this in level one, and white subtracts that. So over here I can get rid of these elements. Being careful not to get onto the butterfly. Oops. So every once in a while I'll click the mouse because that way you have a good undo point. There we go. Now what I can do is take this and make a new layer. Transparent. I could toggle oh, put this on top. I could toggle quick mask again. And delete. Now you notice when I delete it throws in a background layer. So a way to get rid of that is go select invert, edit, cut, edit paste as new layer and get rid of this one perfect a way to strengthen the darks here see how it kinda crabbed into the darks well a, a way to strengthen that is grab the magic wand tool and click here on the outside edge Hold shift to any areas that you might have missed on here. Select invert that. Go to this layer and fill it with black. Okay, just set to be more careful next time. Jeez. <laughs> Then all you're doing here is uh, you're you're taking in cleaning this up a little bit, and that might include cleaning up both layers. just like that. So that's step one. 
let's go to step two in the next video. All right, so in this step, I'm going to basically take this and uh, copy it, copy it visible, and paste as a new layer. I'll hide these others. I'll also make a duplicate of that so I don't screw up. All right, so this is how it works. I filter, blur, Gaussian blur this until I see something like this where it has no detail whatsoever. Maybe just right about there. And then I'll go to colors, posturize. And I'll lower this to something right about here. Hit OK. And then lastly, I'll take this and live trace it. So edit, copy visible, and go back into Inkscape and edit, paste. I'm pretty sure I copied visible there. I copy visible. Inkscape. Paste. Okay. It's fine. I'll save it. So save as, which is also export. Export is. Three color. And I'll save it without the background, so export. Sometimes the image is too big to actually do this, so I'll have to import it in. That's probably what the case is. All right, now here's my before and after, here's my three color. I want to link that. And there's my document. Now for this one, see it's on this layer and this layer is set to 48% opacity. So there we go. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but. And now I could take this element and live trace it. Let's just go to path, trace bitmap. And I'll use colors, and I can drop this down maybe two. I'll have to have three because I got yellow, orange, and black. Remove background too, just in case. All right, now I have an absolute three color there. And it looks like um, it wants something else, so let's go four. Let's drag that over here. Perfect. That's exactly what I want right there. So it was four, even though I wanted three. I'll delete this one out and put this one in its place and save it as my final for color. Let's call this three color period SVG. So now you have the complete workflow. You have the ability to take grayscale. Um, you are able to take and make a black and white. And now you're able to make a three color. So in the next video, I'll show you what you have to do with all three of these images. So enjoy.